know that you can't build this place in your life. Um, we all come to this place in our life, and I guess it comes to, it has to do with our mortality in some way. Do we want to know? Do we do, do we really believe that we're going to see God after we die? And if He sees us, is He going to be all right then with what He saw in my lifetime? And I know that's some nigga bullshit sometimes. But when I see you, I don't see that. I see um, I see somebody when I'm 12 years old. I saw you fight Wilfredo Benitez. I was locked up. What was that in 70, what, 9? 79, yes. I'm locked up, so when I'm 13 years old, I'm locked up in juvenile. I'm watching the fight. He wins the title, but he's fighting the master. No one's saying he, he's fighting the guy who's champion of the world at 17, not amateur professional. So when he's probably 21 now, fight, fighting you, right? And he fight them. I can't even talk. No, my God. I mean, I love you, man, and, um, and I support you. Oh, no. No, it's buying me so fucking much, nigga. I saw you fight to rent. It changed my life as if this is what I'm gonna be. This is fucking me, nigga. Because of you, who are you? You might not think you're nobody, nigga. I love you. I've been well, jealous you, of you thank all you. my life, nigga, because you're so beautiful. You, you stupid, you don't even understand, man. You're, 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 you're immoral to me. I saw you lose the macho. It didn't even affect me because that wasn't you. That wasn't you. I, was, I didn't even cry. It didn't even bother me. That ain't, that ain't the sugar daddy. See, uh, I shouldn't be on here with you because I'm in love with fighters. Because this is what fighters did to me. Look at my shit. This is what fighters did for me. This is my shit. You're my show, nigga. Yes, I am. <laughs> so when I see you, I love you. I, you I almost, it's not like I worship you, nigga. I seen the ran all in your ass. That you came back throwing, you were throwing punches. And I'm an exponent of the art of fighting. You were throwing punches. I learned from the master. My master, my, my mentor, he was throwing punches. He was throwing combinations. And the art of punches is when... You could throw two punches that sound like one. He would throw a bunch of... You can hear them. They were two, but they sound like fucking one punch. He threw two punches that sound like one. You know how, you know how magnificent your speed has to be for that? That, little, that? You don't even know that about fighting, do you? That didn't even come to your mind to make, make two punches sound like one. The ultimate knockout puncher. Yeah. The ultimate knockout punch. Don't get hit by that. Don't get hit by that. No, I'm, uh, listen, I, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fucking student of war. I know all the warriors from, from Charlemagne, Achilles, the number one warrior of all warriors. From then, Alexander and Napoleon, I know them all. I read them all. I studied them all. I know the art of fight. I know the art of war. That's all I ever studied. That's why I'm so feared. That's why they feared me when I was in the ring. Because that's all my, I was an annihilator. That's all I was born for. Now those days are gone. It's empty. I'm nothing. I'm working on being the art of humbleness. Can you be with me? That's the reason why I'm crying, because I'm not that person no more. And I miss them. Because sometimes I feel like a bitch. Because I don't, wanna, I don't want that person to come out, because if he comes out, hell is coming with him. And it's not funny at all. It must sound cool. Like I'm a tough guy. It's just that I hate that guy. I'm scared of him.